My name's Pete Witch, you're watching Hexham TV. Who are you? Amanda Shotton, Head of Art at QE. Uh, and I'm William Pym, uh, Art and Photography Teacher at QE2. So we're here at the opening of the uh, curated exhibition of past and present students from Queen Elizabeth High School in Hexham. What have you tried to do with this exhibition? What, what, what's, what's the... What's the reason for it? Well, the reason for it is, one, we had a very popular show um, um, put on, actually started by Amanda many years ago. Many years uh, ago. Uh, in which students A-level work, which never normally got seen, got, uh, it was never normally seen or showcased yeah. by the, by, uh, for the public, was put on here. Now, that, of course, got cancelled in COVID, and a whole generation of young people really missed out on the opportunity to show uh, uh, their work. So it partly fills in a gap, but also it was a wonderful opportunity because those students who've missed out have now moved on to other wonderful courses uh, and so that's been a fantastic uh, uh, thing so you've got a range of different themes and ideas behind the work so it's uh, something for everybody in that respect but I think it's also a testament to fantastic creativity of young people uh, and, and also the resilience that they've carried on to courses completed courses in some cases all through COVID and produced such fantastic work what do you try and do at the art department, the QE? Well, we always do an annual show for the um, A-level students, and again, that's been um, somewhat compromised through to COVID situations. So we were really keen this year when we got the new build um, to showcase what we'd done this year. So that was a great opportunity to put them up on our new fancy walls and and, and show off what our students and celebrate the successes of this year, which has been a really quite a, a turbulent, difficult year for our students. So I think that this, again, you know, obviously lots of people get to see it in this um, environment, whereas obviously at school it's very much isolated so showing it off to the public is well a massive accolade to the department and the school so we're very proud of what our students achieve and as I say we have a high percentage of, well as Will said we have a high percentage of students who go on to do university courses you know uni um, careers in art um, and we're very proud of that you know that uh, we set our students up really well for success in the future um, and that, 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 that is illustrated here and the diversity of the work, you know, the, every, every corner you turn there's something completely new and innovative going on and that, that says a lot I think about our department in the sense that there's not a house style and um, we very much um, introduce them to lots of different ways of working and I think this illustrates and showcases that really well that uh, the diversity of approach in media is really important, isn't it? And I think also you get the sense of what careers these are going on to. These are not just people who are going to paint in their attic, although they'll probably do that really well. These are people who are going on to careers in the theatre, design for the theatre, um, uh, architecture, um, uh, model making. Yeah. There's a whole we had a range of. to do War Horse in Tokyo. You know, which was just absolutely amazing. So we've had students, do, and, and that was from a puppetry course. You know, so and that's not something we obviously do at A level, but the skills that they learn, fine art, photography, graphics, obviously really assist these sorts of courses they go on to do, which is fantastic. What would you say to younger students who are perhaps a little bit unsure whether? Artists for them. And have a go. Them. It's all about <laughs> risk taking and it's for everybody. You know, it's very much, you know, trying to find um, a skill set that, um, you know, appeals to that young person. So we always try and say, look, come and join us in the art department. It's like a big family and, you know, we try and bring out the best in that student. So, you know, if they find drawing really difficult, then we'll get them to do photography, we'll get them to use mixed media. So, you know, we're, we're very much open minded as to how we bring those successes out in students. And the students have been through a tough time over the last couple of years. Yes, absolutely. How is art and creativity for really? mindfulness and actually supporting, you know, a healthy lifestyle, just to express yourself and be able to sort of produce something? I think that element is really, really important. So it's the actual making it. Uh, and the ability to concentrate, get into the zone of something that goes on beyond the one hour of teaching time. So we like to think of our department as a bit of a sort of safe haven, uh, yeah. you know, uh, so that people come at lunchtime uh, regularly after school uh, and, and get that feeling of, as you say, achieving something uh, in, a, in a period of time. Um, and, I'll, and, and from those really good work habits, you know, yeah. great things can great things can happen. Yeah, and in COVID, that was you know they were amazing, weren't they? They 
they produced fantastic work at home. Um, we had a, a, a remember the textile set that I did, and I was really dubious because I made, made them create. It was a it was an assessment task, and they made um, these amazing creations out of paper, just paper, white paper. They were absolutely phenomenal. I remember marking them with me, and you were absolutely in awe of what they'd achieved. And that is testament our QE students. They're resilient. They're tenacious. They want to do it, even despite not being in school. You know. It was incredible, really, and I think that that mentality just, you know, it, it's it's all absorbing, and um, that's why our students do well, you know. Thank you both for the text and TV. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Who are you? Uh, I'm Ellen and I'm a current student at uh, Queen Elizabeth uh, studying A-level graphic design. So Ellen, we're here at the Queen's Hall in Hexham uh, at the start of uh, an art exhibition of the students' work. Um, what have you uh, produced for this exhibition? Um, I've, I've produced a couple um, pieces, uh, just hand-drawn on um, Illustrator, uh, Adobe Illustrator. So there. Your pieces are in this slideshow. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't know whether we've seen them yet. No, not but, quite yet. Um, why did you choose Adobe Art to produce your pieces? Um, I find it quite slick. It's very minimalist. Um, it, it gives you nice clean lines rather than like more um, jaggedy. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I think mine's actually might be coming up. Oh, that's one of mine. <laughs> yeah. What do, you, what do you hope to do with your... Um, your arts in the future? Um, I hope to go on to degree level at university, um, but after that I'm not sure. Yeah. My name is Beck. I am a former student of the Graphics A level course at Queen Elizabeth High School. Um, I've currently this year been at Newcastle College doing an art foundation diploma and next year I'm going to Leeds Arts University to study illustration. And what pieces have you got uh, at the exhibition here today at, uh, Queen, at the Queen's Hall? Uh, I've got three on display currently. I have this sculpture that I did during my A-level times and I have these two comics that I did during my foundation course this year. So they're more recent, that one's a bit of an older one. So tell me about um, the, the piece that you did during your coursework at QE. Um, so this is a Dada sculpture inspired by the Dada movement. Um, my project focused on gender and what sort of objects and stereotypes make up men and make up women. Um, so I took objects that were stereotypically feminine, so sunglasses, um, the wooden spoons, sort of kitchen things, housework, domestic stuff, um, and took stereotypically manly things, so there's nails, screws and bolts, um, and I sort of put them all together to sort of say like why do these things make up whether you're a man or you're a woman. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. And how about your work um, in your foundation course? Um, for my foundation course, these are two comics I did. Um, this one is about a little raccoon called Henry who breaks into a house and causes havoc. Um, and this is um, about a fossil that was found in 2006 um, showing a nanotyrannus and a triceratops fighting to the death. Um, it's about sort of how they were found and why the fossil's important. And how do you think the uh, art course at um, QE set you up for your foundation course and your university course? Um, I think that the teachers would especially push us to do whatever we wanted to do. Um, like As much as I was on a graphics course, I still got to do 3D stuff like this. Um, and they had loads of resources and loads of knowledge. And you could just sort of say, oh, I kind of like this stuff. And they'd give you five artists who did similar things that you could take inspiration from. Um, they're all sort of lovely people who knew how to use the resources and they'd push you in every direction that they could wherever you wanted to go. I think that's really helped me to build my skills up in loads of different areas and that's definitely something I'll be carrying on into my future artist practice. And what artists inspire you? Um, for my A-level I was very much inspired by the Dada movement and um, mainly Marcel Duchamp because he was sort of a, a big face of Dada and he also took um, within his own personal life he played around with gender roles and masculinity and femininity um, but my more recent work is inspired a lot more by comic artists um, and illustrators so Tilly Walden and Isabel Grenberg did my two favourite graphic novels of all time 
Um, I like their work because it's not the stereotypical comic art, but it's still really cool and it, I like storytelling and the way their art tells stories I really, really like. Um, but I, there's loads of artists I love and it sort of just depends on what projects I'm doing at the time as to what I'm inspired by. What do you hope to do in the future? Art, hopefully. Um, I don't really know what I'll go into, but I think whatever I go into, it will absolutely be artistic. I can't imagine myself doing really anything else than that. Um, I'm Ellen Stith. Um, I'm in my just finished my first year at Nottingham Trent University studying textile design, um, and this is my piece for my art foundation that I did at Newcastle College last year. Um, the project it was based on um, like sea pollution and sort of the impact of like the fashion textiles industry on the environment and things like that. Um, so I used I used like a combination of like hand textiles techniques, so like crocheting, weaving, um, along with plastics and found rubbish from the beach. Um, to sort, and sort of threw it all together, combined those within each other, um, yeah, to create this piece. Um, yeah, this is... What are you trying to say with this piece? Um, well, the, sort, the idea, you can sort of see in the photos, the idea was that it's sort of just a, a piece of rubbish that's just been washed up, a piece of, you know, beach rubbish, <laughs> you know, a piece of textiles, because the textiles industry it's, has a very big environmental impact, and as you know, someone who's hoping to go into that industry. It's something I have to be very aware of with my designing, I find. Um, yeah. And what sort of reaction have you had from people who've seen it? Um, quite a, I'd say quite a positive reaction. Um, a lot of people are, it's sort of, you know, well, I wouldn't say it surprises them, but because it's quite like a, it's quite a visual piece. You know, there's a lot to take in. Um, yeah, but I'd say it's been, it's been positive, especially like, and this, well, this is the first time my work's been like in a, in an exhibition because at A level and from college last year because of COVID, it was all cancelled. I never had any sort of show, so it's it's really nice to see it like finally up and like on display, you know, and like again like letting people see it, like having that opportunity for others to look at it and stuff. Yeah. What sort of textile work do you hope to do in the future? Um, well, I'm specialising in knit on my course, so on knitted knitted textiles, fashion knitwear, that sort of thing. I'm not 100% sure which, you know, if I want to go into fashion, if I want to go into textiles, but something something knitted is, yeah, where I'm going, I think. Yeah. Thanks very much for talking to us on TV. Yes. Thank you.